Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to do absolute and relative error. So our task here says us that compute the absolute error and relative error in approximations of x by x star. So x given to us here is the original value and the x star is the approximated value. So let's start working with the first example here. So for us here, i is, the value for x here is pi and x star is equal to 22 by 7. So the absolute error formula is the absolute value of x minus x star which will be for us pi minus 22 by 7 which will give us the value 1.2 Six four times ten to the power minus three, and then the relative error formula is the absolute of x minus x star divided by x, which is equal to pi minus 22 by 7 divided by pi and that will give us the value 4.02499 times 10 to the power minus 4. Now working on the second example we have the x value equal to e and x star equal to 2.718 maybe let me use a different color here so that we don't get confused later on so here the absolute error is equal to x minus x star which is equal to e minus 2.718 that would give us the value 0 0.06600 you could give it in this format or if you like to give it like the mantisa so you can just move the decimal steps two steps forward and have one non-digit integer in front and then you can see 6.60066 it's up to you it doesn't matter times 10 to the power minus 2 So you could give it in any format, it's fine. And then we have here the relative error now, which is the absolute error divided by the original value of x here. So you have x minus x star, which is the absolute value, divided by the original value of x. And that will give you the answer as 0.00. .00 zero one zero three six seven eight eight nine and then we have the third part here where the value of x is root two and x star an approximated value of it is 1.414 so the absolute value here is 
it is equal to x minus x star which is root 2 minus 1.414 that gives us the value as 0 0.0002 one three five six two three seven then we have relative error that's absolute error divided by the original value of x which gives us the value Alright, let me write here. So we have here root 2 minus 1.414 divided by root 2. And that gives us the value 0 